weird shit. Yeah, yeah so what was good. the movie? What was showing, man? I don't Brooke, know, man. Ooh, back now. Transformers. Shit, <laughs> fact. Oh, guarantee you it wasn't Matt Sound Ross. Of gunshots. The sound of gunshots yeah, rang in hey. the air of this Northwest Austin neighborhood early Monday morning. It was just bizarre because nothing ever happens around here. It's a very quiet. Wow, white, all white neighborhood. All white neighborhood. A peaceful glider neighborhood. And they talk like that, man. I believe them. I just came from an all white neighborhood. I went, I went to a barbecue or it wasn't even a barbecue it was white people so it was like motherfucking like uh, a, a propane grill but everybody brought something like there were like all types of bean salads and broccoli salads and goddamn uh, uh mozzarella balls, balls, balls and it's about the casseroles yeah, yeah arugula salads and shit the food yeah, was gliders. Good, bro Hey, gliders all brain shit, bro. That shit crazy. Yeah. Like, everybody's bringing it like, peaceful. like yeah, it'd be like an even amount of shit, too. It ain't like somebody just yeah. bringing napkins and shit. They all no. bring like, meaningful things. It was, it was, it was, it was literally amazing, man. Peaceful and everything. They weren't even drinking like liquor. They were drinking like, um, what do they call them shits? Um, those like not like like yingling what do they call them things? ipas Breweries. yeah yeah like like them joints yeah they were drinking them and they were drinking and everybody was cool the kids was there my daughter she was the only black kid there my my son and my daughter they were only two black kids but it was it was a very nice um, thing and like yes that neighborhood i believe that there would be nothing. The way they relate to each other, the way white people relate to each other, is just different, man. It's just different. They they can have all the yeah. vices in the world. They can have all the negative attributes, but crime, nah, they ain't gonna have that. Especially violent. It's bizarre crime. because exactly nothing ever happens around here. It's a very quiet neighborhood. Neighbors still asking questions. We don't understand why someone decided that anybody over here should die. Anyone like Stephen Mark Peterman, a Texas gas company employee and retired gunnery sergeant who served in the United States Marine Corps for 18 years. It's the kind of man that never should have been taken from this country and that we need more of. Peterman was shot and killed outside of his home Monday morning while walking his dog. Arrest records obtained by CBS Austin State, Peterman found 37-year-old William Daniels of San Antonio breaking into his work truck, which was parked in the driveway. Mm. When Peterman confronted Daniels, documents show he responded by firing multiple rounds and then leaving that's the scene. That's what I always tell you. When you when you see a son, that's what I tell y'all. If I saw, if I looked out my window right now and saw a fucking son man break Do not out, engage, yeah. I'm not going out there, man. Fuck no, because that's their first instinct. What? Bam! So it's like, um, nah, I, I definitely, you might say, oh, my, oh, you should do this. Stuff. I'm not going out there. Documents show he responded by firing multiple rounds and then leaving the scene. So does it seem like it can be real or be possible that this is the reality that he's not part of our lives anymore. Court documents state Travis Ladder. County Sheriff's deputies found Daniel's palm print on the door of the truck, arresting him just over 12 hours after the homicide. Who did this, guys? Give me an idea on the guy who did this. This we already know. We already know. Nah, right? I already, yeah, Daniels, I already looked. Oh, <laughs> <no. Ew. laughs> oh. God damn. The notorious oh. nostrils. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying, wah, wah. Though, like, the ancient DNA, bro. The man don't look like he fucking is hungry or nothing, bro. Like <laughs> this motherfucker has a regular lifestyle. Yeah, he just, like, he just did this shit and just killed a man and just went about his day. Yeah, he, he, he has to satisfy do. his urges, like it's in this, his DNA this, to, to this hunt is, the blood. This is biological imperative. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, and, yo, and, and I'm talking if, about. If, uh, if you interrupt a vehicle, 
burglary uh, right on the spot. You you need to go on and not just interrupt. You need to to shoot at them. Exactly. That's what I was about to say. Like that glider. This is why I say you can't compete. Right. It's hard for like regular citizens to compete because you go, you see a sun man milling around your car. You go out and you just start shooting at him. This dude is in big trouble if he does that. I mean, his life is never going to be the same. There'll be protests in his neighborhood. Oh, no, he's because, done. No, listen, people will come by and try to say that that guy wasn't still. He was him. no threat. He was no yeah, threat. He wasn't. Exactly. They yeah, didn't no, deserve it. It's They're always, always a threat. threat they are always a threat. Never forget that. Bro, it's a little, and, little. And, and this guy, you come out busing, you come out just busting at that guy. This guy could end up in prison for a long time. Oh, he absolutely would. He at could least. get the uh he could get the treatment of buddy that just tried to grab a shotgun. What's my boy's name? Amon Arbery. Yeah. Like exactly. oh, he absolutely would. They could this because the story would be he just saw a sun man and decided to start shooting for no reason. That Amon Arbery shit is so fucking bizarre. Like a man attacks a shotgun grabs it and gets shot and they get life sentences that's crazy <laughs> that is, that is act, bananas. Act. if it went the other way and he shot the uh some man the uh the news would be like that is a mechanic trying to help out yeah they would say any kind of shit they would say he was confused he thought it was his car he thought it was his friend's car he didn't know yeah, where he, he was whatever he was in the book yeah Hey, Mammies uh, would be on the news vouching for him and shit. Hey, uh, hey yeah, uh, man was trying strange. to break in my house. I put a couple in him. That's that's gonna be my story. And I'm calling my attorney after that. Hey, hey, hey Flash. Or oh, to go back on that, like George Floyd, all them fucking shit she was playing when I was listening. Did y'all know? Like, I watched the whole trial. That shit was horrible. It was boring as fuck. But anyway, during the trial. It got to the point where they couldn't even say he had his knee on his neck because they had proven that his knee was only 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 on his neck for like ten, like a half, for like maybe like five or three seconds or some shit through the whole entire thing. Yeah, the whole uh, thing is garbage. Yeah, the whole thing. yeah, yeah it was like on his shoulder. Even, yeah, they couldn't they couldn't even say that they had it was a knee on the neck during the trial. And the fact that the news stations are still four years later saying that he had his knee on his neck. And they watch the trial. They know, like yeah, they, they know. They know, and it's just so bad because, like, that's uh, it's just a horrible false propaganda, narrative. Man. Yeah, propaganda. it's propaganda, bro. Like his knee was never on his neck. That steel shot was like a point three five second thing when George had like fucking threw Shit. a tantrum on the ground, and then yeah. his knee slid up there. That whole his hand was in his pocket. Shit was never a thing. All that shit was just like all like proven wrong in court. And that attorney for George Floyd, he never even used the knee on the neck or the uh hand in pocket type shit. That's why they're trying to ban chokeholds. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's their thing. We we're trying to ban chokeholds because of Joe happened to George Floyd. But this guy right here, um, this this is this is this guy couldn't compete. Like he, he just couldn't compete with this guy. There was an unfair, uh, unfair um, matchup, man. Of hours after the homicide, for Daniels, who was charged with shooting Peterman, this wasn't his first run-in with the law. In fact, it's not even his second or his third. He shouldn't have still, okay, still been out on the streets. That Data the from right, the Texas yeah. Department of Public Safety's website shows Daniel was first arrested in 2005 in Houston for theft, then again in 2006 for aggravated robbery. Ten years later, he was arrested again for Explain this 10-year gap in his arrest record. That motherfucker was locked up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he was in the joint, man. Like, they said when it's first or second or third, I'm like, that's a good son, man. He only got three arrests. <laughs> <laughs> and, and explain, explain the gap from 2016 to now. Nah, he was in college, and then he started working. <laughs> when you see gaps like that, you know some man did a bid, man for theft. And in 2017, there's an unlawful firearms possession okay. arrest along with another arrest for robbery. Ultimately, that man is responsible for his actions. I hope and pray that uh, justice is served to the full ex extent of the law.
Now, the Peterman family is left to move forward, knowing they'll never see or feel these warm embraces from Stephen ever again. We have a lifelong sentence without my brother and my nieces and nephew without their dad and my parents without their son. No parent should ever have to bury their son. One thing is for Thank you for that. watching. Please hit the subscribe it's button and get the latest news. He's not a show watcher, News, Mr. Peter. By downloading the CBS Austin News app. I to interrupt. Wow. It's crazy. First on Fox, a man has been charged with attempted murder after authorities say he 